Hi, Finn the Fast Lane. Let's start with the intro, riff number one. First finger, fifth string, fifth fret. Hammer. And then make your third finger go flat onto the fourth string. And then put your finger back on its tip. Just practice going like this so that you are flat and then back on the tip. Okay, then first finger. And then back to the fifth string, three, one. So now we have. Okay, then you're going to take your third finger, slide very quickly. And then first finger. micro bend and then release okay now let's look at what the right hand is doing down down up down down up down down the second time. The second time, you just do the micro bend and stop it. You don't go to the open string after. Okay, so that's that's one time. So you're going to do this again. Okay, on the repeat of doing it again, you're going to go quickly back to this first riff. So the first time, there was a little bit of space in between it as you let the low E ring out like this. One, two. One, two. time you're going to walk up okay so after that last one okay we're still in the intro but we're on a new riff so this new riff is after you played after you go, now you're going to play on the fourth string, fourth finger on the fourth string at the fifth fret, and you want your first finger down at the same time because what you're going to do is you're going to pull off. Okay, as a pull off, pull down with your pinky. Your pinky is picking. And then you're going to pick up, so that was a down on the pull-off. And then you're going to pick up on the fourth string. But when you do the pick up on the fourth string, you're going to release your first finger so that you just get that sound. So you have... Okay, then pinky slides on the fifth string now. Okay, now we have... Okay, now this time we're going to go open D, and then on the B on the fifth string, second finger on the G, slight micro bend, and then pull that off and to an open. So we have all together. Repeat. So no 
notice how I ended this time with faster notes. So the first time is like, those are like quarter notes. And then the second time, okay, that's like eighth notes. So let me play that whole thing again. going to play this riff during the verse. Now we're into a new section, which we'll do a new video on but you have this part that we just learned, riff number two. It's the second half of the intro as well as the first half of the verse. Second half of the verse, we go right up to an E. Okay, and you're going to play the power chord with your root is on the fifth string. Okay, and you're just going to go, let, let your slide, fingers slide, and just gradually release your fingers off the strings. You're not going anywhere in particular. You're not going to any particular fret. You're just releasing the pressure of your fingers gradually from pressing to gradually lifting off somewhere around here. Okay, so it sounds like this. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put all of our fingers, so first finger is laying flat, second finger is covering the sixth string, and these two are covering the notes that they're supposed to press on when they play the power chords, but nobody is pressing, okay? We are just covering the strings with our fingers so that we get the scratch sound. Okay, and then we're going to go down up, and then hit the power chord again and then and then slide again so to start that whole thing we go two three four one two three two three four all right so you're doing scratches scratches so you have to get real good at pressing and releasing, pressing and releasing, so that you get a really good sound out of that. Okay, then we have a lick that comes in the, right in the middle of that verse. Okay, we're at the 14th fret with our third finger, and we're gonna be going to that 12th fret with our first finger and the 13th fret sorry, 14th fret with our third finger. So you're covering the third string and the second string. And then you're going the same strings, but with your first finger. And then your third finger is gonna play the fourth string at the 14th fret, so you have this. This is a, a downward bend for two strings. So you got. Okay, so all together we have. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Two, three, four. One, two. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Two, three, four. Okay, that is one guitar's part during that section. Let's do another video for another guitar parts during that section. Okay, now while one guitar is doing the power chords in that second half of the, of the verse, another guitar is doing something kind of funky and cool. So I would say learn both parts and then interchange them. Maybe one time in first verse, you might wanna do the power chords, 
the second verse, you might want to do the funky guitar part. Maybe for one time through the song, you're only going to do the power chords and the licks because the licks go with the power chords. Okay, and then maybe another time you might want to do just the funky guitar bits when you play the song. So mix it up. So let's learn those funky guitar bits. What are they? The first chord is an E9 chord. All right, very bluesy sounding. So put your second finger on the E because this is an E9 chord and that's the root of the chord. First finger is going to go on the fourth string. And your third finger is going to go flat over three strings, over three, two, and one. Okay, play that so you can hear how it sounds. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to go start from a half step underneath and you're going to slide into it. Okay? So you want to practice being able to do that. And then once you get to the chord, you're going to go down, up, down. So you've got this. Okay, now we're going to go up to the ninth fret and we're going to play a bar chord and you're going to be covering four strings with your first finger, your second finger is going to be on the second string and your third finger is going to be on the third string. Sorry, that was wrong. The third finger is on the fourth string. So here we go like this and then take these two off. Okay, so this chord is an A. If you play an A, you'll hear that that's what it is. It should sound the same, except higher. And this first finger is actually an E. What we've done is we've taken off the root from this. If you play an E power chord, Okay, maybe sometimes you play it like that, but if you wanted to get three strings, you could also get the second string by making your third finger go flat. So we've just taken that part of it, and that's an, that's an E. So we've gone to A to E. So now we have this. Okay, and then we're going to do this again. And now we're going to an E9 chord that's up here. Okay, so how do you play this chord? Third finger on the fourth string of the twelfth fret. Pinky on the first string. Second finger on the third string. First finger on the second string. That is the ninth fret. So the tenth fret is being skipped. There's no finger on, this, on the tenth fret. You've got twelfth fret, you've got eleventh fret, and you've got the ninth fret. And then you just do another slide off again, okay? So all together you have. So you will hear the other guitar part playing against it if you play with the recording. We have the pre-chorus. We're going to start with kind of a bluesy riff on A. Power chord, all right? Your first finger is over the fourth string, the third and the, and the, uh, the fourth and the third, okay? It's muting, it's muting the other ones. Now your fourth finger is going to come to the fifth fret on the fourth string. And you're playing the fourth and the fifth strings together. And then back to the first finger. Third finger. First. Then fourth twice. Third. First. So all together it sounds like this.
Okay, and now we're going to go to riff number two. So should be very familiar to you, but this time we're gonna do something a little bit different. Instead of doing the muted note, you gotta hit the sixth string open instead. Anywhere where you used to hit the muted, you gotta hit the sixth string. So we start on the low sixth string. And now we're gonna slide. Now we're gonna go to the third finger. Right there. On the sixth string, open A. First fret up to a B power chord, which you can play with a third finger like that or with two fingers. So let me do that again. Okay, so the new bit is on the fifth string. You're gonna do a pull off just like you do on the fourth string. Third finger. Off, based off of an A7 chord. So you can play the A7 chord. That's the fourth string and the second string. Now take your second finger and slide it to the fourth fret and put your first finger down in the third fret on the second string. And then take your second finger and slide it to the fifth fret and then put an A7 chord back down again. So that goes. Okay, so that whole little pre-chorus section. Oops, oh, sorry. about the licks in the verses. In the first verse, you learned this one. Okay, now that little spot where you would play that in the second verse is going to be different. Okay, so we're going to go with our second finger. Mm -hmm. Let's go with our third finger to the third string in the 11th fret. So you're gonna bend it. You're bending a whole step. So you wanna go to that note. And then your first finger is going to go to the first string in the ninth fret. So you have this. And then you're going to go with your third finger to the twelfth fret on the second string. So now you have this. Now your second finger is right over the eleventh fret on the third string. Put it there. Put your first finger behind it to help you bend. It's the end of the lick, so it's going to go like this. That makes a lot more sense than trying to use your third finger again, because your third finger was just doing something here. So instead of jumping back like that and probably missing, you just use your second finger, because it's just right there anyway. So watch again closely as I do this. Okay, so that you have... Two, three, four, one, two, three. Two, three, four, one, two. Okay, that's where that would go. All right, now let's talk about the lick in verse three. So it's going to go in the same spot. And now we're going to go to the second string on the fifth fret with our first finger. Play that note, third finger on the seventh fret, bend it. It's a whole bend. You want to go to that note, and then back to the first finger. But that goes from the second string to the first string. And then you're going to bend the second string again. 
then back. Yeah, you don't want to go here. You want to go to that note. So we have two, three, four, one, two. All right, there we have our licks. Between the second verse and the third verse, there's an interlude. It's where the first guitar solo happens. We're not doing the first guitar solo, but we are doing the rhythm part, so. So, um, okay, so you've done the, the chorus. From here, you're gonna go to a B power chord. Um, by the way, I don't think I said, because we learned this riff, but that's not only the intro riff, that's also the chorus riff. So after you play, you're playing this, Okay, so you're going to play a B, and then you're gonna play an A, and you're gonna play the power chords. Um, B power chord, and you're going to do a blues kind of a thing. So on the fourth string, your fourth finger is going to be reaching to, um, to the sixth fret. If you can't reach that, don't worry about it. Just leave off the pinky and go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so two measures of that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then on the A. Okay, here you're putting your third finger on the fourth string. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back to B. Four. One, two, three, four. So just count four on that last A, and you're not doing any riff on it. You're just going two, three, four, and then you're gonna to go to the fourth fret, and you're gonna play. Okay, it's just a chromatic scale, just like your warm-ups. then you have the next part that we're going to go over. But let's just recap that. So after you do the chorus, the next part. Okay, so now we have the other guitar part, which after the going, you're going to go up to, that's very fast, okay, so you might want to decide you want to skip the going up bit and just go let this ring out. You're there right on it okay just imagine that the other guitar is doing the other part if you're if you're doing the play along you're gonna hear the other guitar going and then when you can get here you can try it and just jump up here and get on time or you can just come up here and wait for your turn so do you remember in an earlier part of the song I taught you that this is an E without this finger and that this is an A okay so this is an A chord and what we're doing is we're pulling off so your second finger and your third finger are pulling off and then you're gonna play, play up on the E so you've got A would be one time. You can do that four times. So 
Ba da da ba da da ba da da ba ba da ba da da ba da da ba da ba ba ba. That's da da da. That's one time we go play and then play and then pull off. So. Okay, the thing why this is so hard, maybe you're practicing this and you're like, well, that's not that hard. It goes really fast. So if you don't think you can go that fast when you're practicing it, then you can keep practicing it. Maybe one day you, I'm sure, well, definitely one day you'll be able to go that fast. But for now, if you want to just be able to play the song and have fun with it, then just go ahead and do the power chord section, okay? But I just wanted to throw that in there as an option. <laughs> Thank you.